Laura. This is going to be a general love forecast for the sign of Aries. This is for my Aries suns, moons, and risings, and those on the cusp of Aries. Uh, for your reading today, I will be using the Terra Mocha as my primary deck. For clarification, I'll be using the Vera Sibilla Italiana. And then at the end of your reading, I will be pulling an oracle message from the Psychic Tarot for the heart. So if that sounds <clears throat> good to you guys, let's get started with your reading. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies that you have for the sign of Aries for the month of July 2016? This is their love forecast. What does Aries need to know with regards to their love lives? What are the messages and energy spirit? This is a general love reading and will not resonate with everyone. For the most accurate reading with the most accurate outcome, I do recommend coming and getting a private reading with me. That card jumped out, but it didn't show me its face. So if it comes out again, maybe it'll give us some indication of what it wants to say. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies for the sign of Aries? With regards to their love lives, what does Aries need to know, Spirit? What are the messages and energies that you have for the sign of Aries? This is for my Aries suns, moons, and risings. Okay, they want me to do another one of these circles. For my Aries suns, moons, and risings, and those on the cusp. Spirit, what are the love messages and energies? What are the messages and energies that you have for Aries for their love lives? can see the cards. Let's see if I can move my camera in a little bit more. Let's take a look at what you have. Okay, you come into July with a seven of pentacles. What crosses you is the six of swords. What comes below you is the two of cups in reverse. What crowns you is the five of wands in reverse. In your recent past, you have the five of swords reversed. In the near future, you have the hermit in the position of how you see yourself, you have the Empress. In your environment, this is also how your significant other or the person who you are thinking about the most may be viewing you or dealing with you. During the month of July, they have the Eight of Swords reversed. Your hopes and fears are the Page of Wands reversed. Your outcome for the month of July is the Ace of Swords and it is reversed. Let's talk about your cards. In the center of the reading, you have the Seven of Pentacles. This is your Significator card. This is your energy during the month of July. The first feeling that I get when I look at this card is that you are working hard on yourself. You are starting to see the rewards of past efforts. Um, I see this as things coming to fruition for you, Aries after uh, maybe seven months of working very hard on something. Uh, this could be a relationship or even on um, personal development in the love area. So I still feel like there's, you know, obviously work to do, but you're at a point where your basket or your glass is half full. So you've accomplished a lot. A lot of things are starting to happen for you. You're starting to reap the rewards of past efforts. That's how I would interpret this card. I do think of it as a positive card for you. Now your challenge this month um, is the Six of Swords reversed. Your challenge is to continue moving on a path of healing in love 
and um, you may have some travel delays in July. Lots of us will be traveling. This may indicate that there are delays for you, but also that your challenge is to continue moving on. If there was something in the past that was hurtful for you, a relationship or another person, I do see that there might have been a skirmish for you over the last two weeks that might have been difficult for you to deal with, that you do need to continue moving forward, okay? Um, there's a tendency for you to kind of tread water a little bit, um, and this has to do with your psychological state of mind. Um, you may uh, frequent the past um, in some situations where you are, um, I think at this point where you can evaluate things uh, pretty clearly, but again, your challenge is to continue to move forward and not dwell on the past or the events of the past, especially when it comes to your mental health. I hope that makes sense. What puts you here in your uh, root position is the Two of Cups reversed. So I do feel like some of you have broken up with your soulmate or significant other. Um, there, this may also indicate that there's uh, some differences in a very close partnership and you're struggling to really see eye to eye with this person. Um, now I say that this is a soulmate because this is a, a card of close partnership. Someone that you're very intimate with, someone that you're very close with and may just not be seeing eye to eye with at this time. Now there's no indication that you really are broken up with this person, but for some of you this does indicate that there are feelings of being not as close with this person or that there's some friction there. Also what is indicating this to me is that in your recent past you have the Five of Swords reversed. So I really feel like there's a, there was a lot of conflict for you. This can represent a uh, conflict between you and three other people or between you and your partner. Now, there's a feeling of um, defeat here, strong feelings of, of defeat, feeling attacked, and therefore um, deep feelings of resentment, anger, conflict. Uh, a battle of words was had. There might have been an argument or an unpleasant exchange where neither person really felt very good about that confrontation. But again, I have to remind you that your challenge is to continue to move forward on a path of healing. This may involve you needing to forgive and forget, or uh, some of you may have trouble forgiving and forgetting, and so then your challenge is to move forward on your path of healing as much as you can. In the position of what you know to be true, this is what crowns you throughout the month of July, is the Five of Wands in reverse. I like to see both fives reversed, although this five in reverse in the past can indicate um, a more serious rivalry or conflict that took place. This card to me says that there is a fading of competition, petty hassles and struggles. I think that you have extricated yourself and very much want to extricate yourself from having to compete for someone else's attention or if this is you, um, you may feel like uh, you're starting to have more positive feelings, but it's still going to take time. Again, um, you are healing this month and you will continue to do so. I see you kind of uh, in July being the seventh month, taking this time to weigh out the pros and cons of your situation and decide which course is best. Um, there's a strong need for you to disengage from any kind of conflicts and to heal in whatever way that you can. I feel like a broken record. I'm sure I've said that two or three times. Now going into your future, this is your near future. I would say the middle of July you have the Hermit. So many of you will uh, find this energy permeating um, your life in a very big way. There is a spiritual calling for you and this calling is going to require you to go inside and search for the answers because these answers can't be found from any outside source, voice, 
um, book, uh, spiritual guru, um, or any kind of religious affiliation, these answers do come from within. And in order to become like the hermit, you really do need to withdraw and perhaps isolate yourself from any kind of influence that would disparage you or make it difficult for you to really listen to what it is that the spiritual guidance that is coming from within you is trying to say. Um, I often liken the hermit to the wise, sort of a sage, someone who, um, think of the Buddhist monk who goes for 30 days onto the hillside to fast and to meditate. And uh, while he does that, he would encounter different aspects of himself that he would have to contemplate and be challenged by. But at the end of his retreat, he would come out um, from the temple and be rewarded by a deep sense of inner knowing, a deep sense of having finally understood those lessons and being the wiser for it. I sort of think that in the middle of July, you will be going through a similar period of adjustment in terms of perhaps, yes, needing to withdraw for a period of time. Now, normally this isn't just a short, um, you know, uh, short period of withdrawal. Normally when I say the hermit, this does involve a deeper, more, uh, can be lonesome, but doesn't have to be, period of um, withdrawal from society. So it can indicate some antisocial behavior, but it's for the best. It's so that you can come in touch with those answers that can only be found from within you. And in the position of how you see yourself, you also have a major arcana. You have the Empress. So you're likely to be feeling very abundant this month, fertile. Um, there's a deep sense of being able to attract that which you need and being very comfortable, I'd say not complacent, but comfortable in that you feel that you have enough, that you are enough, and that the universe will provide for you whenever you are in need. There's not a sense of grasping. There's a sense of being very um, abundant in your love life and feeling the abundance, um, knowing that there's love all around you and feeling very confident in that. Also, she is the mother archetype uh, and represents Venus so sensuality, sexuality, the Venusian arts, um, you are likely to be more attractive to others at this time. Now, I do sense that in the middle of July, while you are going through this period of withdrawal, you will also likely start to become more abundant and fertile. So the only thing that I would caution you there is that people may also find you more attractive around this period of time where you are attempting to withdraw from the world. So you may have a lot of people that are looking up to you and want to give you attention, but you may just be, um, you may be comfortable uh, doling out that affection and that, and that attention because you know that there's more than enough to go around. But you may also feel like being alone at some t at some point, and that's fine. Um, now there aren't any core cards that are coming up for me in this reading, except in your hopes and fears. Um, I would like to clarify. Uh, I would like to clarify the two of cups in reverse here. This is in your root situation or the foundation of. of the situation and what has led to the heart of the matter here which is the seven of pentacles let's see if spirit can help me clarify this two of cups in reverse okay we have the reunion the good or bad news and lightness so in your past there was a reunion this can be a romantic encounter or job offer Next I have good or bad news. So perhaps a message message has come to you. This could have been um, either 
positive or negative in terms of the relationship. But I do feel like uh, in the future you have lightness. This does represent sensitivity, tact, or irritability. So with the Two of Cups reverse, um, you may have received some good or bad news and this has made you irritable. I do see a reunion indicated here. So perhaps the news um, was not to your liking. Uh, also, I feel like the way that the news comes to you, it's almost as though you're in the middle of being with this person and then the message arrives causing irritability. So perhaps you did receive some news that uh, was disruptive to your relationship. That's one possibility. But in your environment, this is how your significant other may be viewing or dealing with you. They see that you're getting yourself out of a bad situation. You may have been feeling very trapped, either in a current relationship or just in your life in general. Uh, you no longer want to remain the victim. And of course, this is was, was of your own doing. So I see that you're starting to see that you can set yourself free by controlling these negative thoughts, which have imprisoned you. How they may be dealing with you, um, they may uh, be, they themselves may be trying to get out of a bad situation um, and be trying to free themselves from a bad situation. But I do like this card in the reverse and so I see that you are attempting to mitigate some mental pain or some feelings of being a victim or a martyr uh, where you felt trapped and like there were no solutions. Where there were no solutions, you're starting to see that there very much are solutions. There very much is um, a way out of this. You don't have to stay trapped by your own negative thought process. In your hopes and fears, you have the Page of Wands reversed. I think your fear is, uh, again, I'm getting an someone being immature who's f or frustrating. Could be a, a fire sign, a Leo Aries or Sagittarius that rubs you the wrong way. This can be uh, some news that is delayed or... Um, a delay to the, a new beginning in your love life or can even represent um, someone who's acting like having a tantrum so like some kind of uh, upsetting behavior coming from a person who's more immature this person um, kind of like um, they're they're a little bit manipulative like they can really push your buttons um, they might, um, like I say, act out or um, be holding back, uh, you know, holding back on, it's, it's, it's not the best side of this page, I'd rather see them upright. So in your hopes and fears, you may just be fearing that type of behavior or, or even be fearing that this news would be delayed, some kind of news would be delayed. So the page comes, the page of wands reverse is coming up with death, the friend, and the travel card. So in your past, uh, you may be fearing a, an abandonment or a complete detachment from this person, or this person would abandon you or detach from you. You fear uh, this person who is a friend, a confidant, or guest uh, this was a relation or this is a relationship of trust and you also fearing um, that this person would take a vacation transfer or move um, so you could be fearing that a friend is moving away from you either for a transfer or a vacation and that this would create some kind of detach detachment or abandonment situation. Now, if this is a fear of your something that would happen to you, you may be fearing some kind of transfer or move 
or that would lead to some kind of detachment from something that you previously knew as your reality and so you're afraid to to move on you're afraid for this move you're afraid for this change but this can also like i said indicate a friend of yours a confidant who is going through this process and you're afraid that they would abandon you or uh, be traveling for work or potentially relocating and uh, that you would uh, lose that person from your life. But remember, this is a fear. Uh, it's not actually going to happen like that. It probably wouldn't even um, tr transpire in the future. It's just something that you're possibly afraid of. Now, in your outcome position, you have the Ace of Swords reversed. I feel like you're confused about something. There's an inability for you to kind of cut to the truth. Um, you may, uh, this may indicate lies or deceit. Um, the truth is really unknown to you. Aries, uh, so I just found out that my memory card was full, so I had to go back and delete some stuff off there. But um, not to end your uh, tarot reading prematurely, but I, I didn't know that the card was full, so I was recording, and I did pull this oracle message for you, so I just want you to know that the cards were shuffled and everything, um, but I want to go ahead and uh, let's talk about your oracle message because um, it's already sort of uh, come out for me here. Let's take a look. So the message that I have for you is rebelled. Can you see that? Keywords are collapse, expose, create, pretense, revelation, awareness. Okay, so when they say revelation, this card does come to mind here in the upright meaning. And that's what I wanted to go in and talk about is the upright meaning of this Ace of Swords, because that's likely to be very important to you in terms of um, coming out of this uh, period of withdrawal with more clarity. The dynamics of a relationship can often be complicated. The longer you've been in a relationship, the more complex it can be. Relationships begin to grow many layers consisting of joys, sorrows, honesty, and duplicity. As these layers build on top of each other, it becomes increasingly difficult to know what the core of the relationship is based on. What once was love may now appear to be merely tolerance, or worse. Even in good relationships, you may find yourself growing apart from the other person. In either case, the weight of these layers can cause a relationship to collapse. Now may be a good time to start fresh with one or more of your relationships. Peel off the layers one by one, cut away any pretense, and see what may be revealed. Find the core of the relationship and decide if it's still what you want, what you find, and what you find attractive. Find the core of your relationship and decide if it's still what you want and what you find attractive. So this card coming up in reverse, to me, says that there's an inability to kind of cut to the core. And so that is why this Oracle message is coming through because it's giving you, uh, it's, it's showing you what you need to do in order to get at the upright meaning of the Ace of Swords. If so, then discard, I'm sorry, uh, find the core of the relationship and decide if it's still what you want and what you find attractive. If so, then discard the old layers and consciously create a new commitment with this person or persons, one based on truth, honesty, and love. Yes, I definitely see that. Use the awareness gained by this exercise to steer the relationship on a clear, steady course. The same applies to rebuilding the relationship with yourself. Examine your many layers of joys and sorrows, successes and failures and think about how they're affecting your ability to love yourself and therefore to find love. Expose the false voices that tell you that you're unworthy and silence them. 
When you do, your true value will be revealed. Rebuild your life around unconditional love for yourself and invite in unconditional love from others. Your affirmation, Aries, for the month of July is I cut to the core of my relationships and consciously rebuild them. The traditional tarot archetype for this card is the tower. So some really powerful guidance here today from spirit and I uh, serve as a channel for spiritual energy and I'm here to, to really pass along those messages that resonate um, directly with you. Please remember just to leave anything that doesn't resonate and uh, take what does. If you like this reading Aries, uh, do give it a thumbs up and let me know your feedback. I read all my comments. I look forward to reading for you soon. I will probably see you at the mid-month readings, which will be available uh, for my subscribers on Patreon. Uh, if you're interested in joining me over on Patreon, there's more information below in the video description. But thank you so much for joining me here today. I want to send you off with many blessings, love and light. Have a wonderful month of July, Aries. Take care.